Hello YouTubers and welcome to another episode where I do some rowing. As you can see from the video that you just saw here, we have some flat water and as you can tell from the title up there, it's the first pieces of the year on the water. It's been warm enough for long enough that the water is not frozen and we finally get to do some pieces on the water. We've been doing some pieces on the rowing machine quite a lot because like I said, the water has been frozen. So let's put that sort of fitness that we've been trying to develop to the test on the water and hopefully some of the erg checkers that we've been working on can be applied to the water. I'll also be having a little bit of a chat sort of of how the pieces went after the pieces and in the time bar down here somewhere there's a chapter of how the, the video is going. So if you want to skip to the pieces, you can see in the little bar below. If you want to skip to the conversation, you can skip to that too. But now what I'm going to do is get the boat set up over there and then get onto this lovely, lovely glassy water. Oh yeah! Come on, now. Time to go.
Around two done. Quite a high, let's see, 190 max heart rate. So 75% of max, yeah? Now time to catch a breath. Another 50k to the to the dock, get off the water. Bring the thoughts together and we'll have a little bit of a chat. How about pieces on the water? Oh yeah. Yam squad, what a session we have had on the water there. So we managed to basically warm up a little bit, do a piece, turn around, paddle around, do a piece back, and then come in, cool down. Like I said at the beginning of the video, that was the first pieces I've done this year on the water, and it is what a difference to get out there and really apply some maximum yam and I can't wait for you, the yam squad, to get out there on the water. Not only to just get out there on the water, but to get out there and apply some yam on the water because applying some yam on bay, on the rowing machine, is fun. But then there is just something special about getting out there on the water and I realise how privileged a position being the performance athlete with Scottish rowing to be able to get out on the water is an amazing, amazing position to be in. And I'm really lucky to be able to get out here and row on the water because I know a lot of you aren't able to get on the water. So hopefully even just a little bit of seeing me on the water gives you that little bit of inspiration and just, just can't wait for you guys to get out on the water as well. So the piece itself, like I said, I haven't done many, first one this year, and it's completely different to on the rowing machine. And I was actually, like I said, like I have heard as some dogs are barking, Jan would love to play with them. The, my heart rate was actually really high, not in a bad way. It was actually the highest my heart rate's probably ever been on the water, especially in the single, 190. And I was quite impressed with myself because generally when I'm working that hard, something's going to blow. For example, my arms, my shoulders, being too inefficient in the rowing strokes where something else doesn't blow or does blow. Uh, whereas today, it was more of a case of my fitness was, or my, my hearts and lungs, my hearts, both of my hearts, my heart and lungs was the factor that was determining whether I had to slow down or not, where, whether I could push on or not, which I, which is really good because it means to me that the techers are improving sufficiently where they are not the limiting factor it's more of a the fitness is a limiting factor and the mental not inspiration the mental fortitude the mental what am i looking for motivation because remember motivation is one of the keys to motivation <laughs> is one of the limiting factors and really pleased to be in that position even though we've only been on the water for a, a week or so now, maybe a week and a half since the water has thawed. So absolutely fantastic. And that will be it for today's episode, Yam Squad. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Like I said, fingers crossed we can all get out on the water soon. And I will see you in the next episode when I think we're talking to Big Phil about his world championship, first place champion 500 meters, one 11 split 500 meter absolutely amazing. So let's get to that. We'll see you in that episode.